ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Stregi, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's going to take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge, so fuck you. Over. Did you miss me? I guess not. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Delusions of Grandeur. I'm your host, David Stregi, and here I have another review for you. This time of an anthology that I became aware of through a director friend of mine. And maybe this might make me a little biased towards the project, because I like and have worked with um, one of the actors involved in the anthology. But uh, it is a unique and curious uh, anthology of uh, scenes of people videotaping videos through this uh, coronavirus quarantine. Um, uh, and it makes the statement that it was entirely filmed in quarantine. So everyone involved in the project were, was filming it separately. And they film it like YouTubers. Well, apparently there is a dark web out there that is, uh, is, um, what I would say the blackest part of the web, where anything and anybody can, with the right programming and whatnot, um, surf this dark web and find w anything illegal, including black market babies, dead bodies, you name it, you can probably find it on there. <laughs> so um, apparently there is a YouTube phenomenon of these dark web mystery boxes um, that uh, this anthology explores. And uh, the director of this particular anthology is uh, Tony Newton. And Tony Newton um, and I guess Josh Schultz. Um, Josh Schultz, he's an actor, kind of uh, a, a YouTube personality with his, I believe it's his, uh, his wife or whatnot. What not. Josh and Sarah Schultz, um, who act in this um, particular anthology. Uh, but we also have Emil Johansson as Levin, uh, Dane Kyle as uh, Jordan into Mystery. Um, Tony Newton plays Tones, or Tonys, or Tones. Um, Rhiannon Nicole plays Nicole. Uh, Sean C. Phillips plays Cool Duder. Um, Julie Ann Prescott plays Brandywine. Um, Eliza Sika plays Eliza, and Gemma Wilkes plays Gemma. So these are the characters that are involved in this um, somewhat, um, I guess, each 
one of these characters receives a dark web mystery box, which some of them include other items, like uh, uh, like one receives a marionette that's kind of kooky and odd. Uh, <laughs> uh, and another receives a devilish looking uh, puppet and another receives like a rusted razor. Um, some of these items include blood stains or they, or they don't know what the fuck is on them. <laughs> but um, this, I will say that the strongest um, um, batch of videos actually comes from the Schultzes, um, where I really do believe that Sarah Schultz um, really um, brings out a character of so uh, sorts um, in her acting ability. Um, and, uh, I mean, Sean C. Phillips, he's kind of energetic, uh, as always. Um, he's, he often shows up as a mascot in some of these, uh, 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 uh films. And, uh, I'm getting to the point of, uh, of where it's like, cool, cool dude has to show up in everything. Uh, and, um, for some reason, maybe that annoys me. Uh, because uh, maybe that uh, doesn't allow other people ample opportunity to um, do things kind of like him. Um, but uh, other than that, um, I do enjoy, enjoy seeing the characters that he does create. Um, he did um, eventually um, create a character where, uh, where he kept get, uh, getting like headaches and uh, what what not julianne prescott she didn't do a bad job either um as brandy w uh, wine she uh, uh, she made her character uh, get very scared um evidently her character started hearing voices um and these are the kinds of things that uh and reactions that we get from what was sent to uh, these characters now jordan into mystery um, he's an interesting char uh, character, um, uh, where he, <laughs> <coughs> he kind of states that his videos are, are, are real, um, and he takes his drug bunny and investigates, uh, uh, the different packages. Now, every single, uh, YouTuber or, um, a package victim here, uh, receives a tape <coughs> that says play me and what happens when they watch it is kind of the central uh, nature of the story now I don't want to get too involved in what happens uh, uh, next but I mean there, there, there were um, each video was different, and each level of um, receiving uh, each of these pack uh, 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 boxes, uh, these mystery boxes, was received in uh, different ways. And I think it was interesting. Um, I do think that there were some that were less um, strong in character uh, character but i do like that each one was fairly different so i guess in the end the film uh produced exactly what it set out to do whether it was scary um it wasn't entirely scary to me but uh, but i do see um a found footage likeness to this kind of an anthology and uh, I could see other people maybe getting a little perturbed but um, I I myself was not um, scared but I do think that Sarah Schultz um, and uh, and uh, seeing Dane Kyle act more in, um, in something uh, it was pretty awesome um, 
knowing him as a friend um, and uh, seeing him uh, be able to um, enact an art in, in what what he was doing, um, seeing him spread some of his artistic creativity into some of these projects is uh, kind of an interesting th thing uh, to see. It's like seeing a, bu a, 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 a the budding talent rise. So uh, in any case, uh, uh, hopefully you enjoyed my description of this film. Um, definitely check the film out when you get a chance. I liked the atmosphere. Um, I especially liked the editing. I mean, I, I believe it, it was well adapted together. Um, and, uh, I mean, the parts uh, that may have uh, uh, fleetingly uh, been negative in my mind, I can overlook because uh, this is an independent project. It was all done in quarantine. It may not be my entire cup of tea, but I mean, it was decent for what it was. So thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you uh, you uh, you are. From what I understand, it is still on YouTube, but it will not be there forever. Um, and uh, from what I understand, it w was put out by Mort Pictures, which is its first um, company picture. Um, and, uh, I guess it's going to be distributed by Vestra Pictures, um, and it will be on DVD sometime in the near future. So, uh, please look out for it. I know I will. I will definitely be picking up a copy eventually down the road, and hopefully you just get a chance to see the film. In any case, thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, and morning, wherever you are. I appreciate your time spent here on the page, and let me do know down here in the comments whether you did get a chance to see the film and whether you enjoyed it uh as i did um i'm looking forward to um what um the uh, the general public will actually think of this movie because uh, uh it was entertaining you were good kid real good but as long as i'm around you'll always be second best see